Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Let me just show you guys a little quick something here. First and foremost, Kazaha is awesome. Let me just talk about Kazaha real quick. Let me show you guys some of the stuff I have on him and what my talents are and etc. Anyways, um, currently he's running 6.05 EM with the Iron Sting. Obviously, I can refine this some more, which I probably will, but not this current moment of time. I have four Verdescent running on him. I have no constellations for this man, but he does have a few talents here. Um, I'm running 4.76. Obviously, it's three, but Tartaglia is giving a boost. But anyways, so yeah. Now, I, I just need a little more of the, uh, of the Moras. <laughs> I have no more. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways, Kaza is really, really fun, ladies and gents. And let me tell you, I just love doing that. <laughs> I love doing that. Uh, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. But what do I think of Kaza? Kaza's excellent. He's so fun to use. And I'm not saying excellent in a way that he's like meta, right? So for, he's not going to be, oh, the greatest character in the game. Where if you see six him, he's going to do a million damage or five million damage like Eula would um so the thing with Kazuha is his whole elemental damage buff and if you guys do not know I made a video on this uh, earlier is if you have c6 sucrose you do not need Kazuha because they do the same thing if you have c6 sucrose don't get Kazuha easy simple but um I would have c6 sucrose and I would still summon for Kazuha why? Because he's fun. That's literally it. There's no more to it. There's no extra thing to it. He's fun. And that's the whole thing with him. But yeah, I don't I don't want to go on a rant on that. I already like talked about it in the past. But I just want to show you guys that my team comp right now is looking pretty nice. I have Tartaglia. I'm running him with Kaza as ja with Jangling and Jean. They're all in my team. So how this works is I usually well how about I show you guys if we just head over to, I don't know, let's head it over to the, to the Verdescent Domain. Alright, we're in the Verdescent Domain and I'm going to show you guys how this works really quick. First and foremost, um, let's just start this out. I use Sartaglia just to, you know, get someone ignited with a little bit of Hydro and then use Kaza to do a little bit of that. Obviously, now I should probably switch to um, Tartaglia here and just like start swinging. If I just show you guys the um, Hydro bonus I have, I have 97.5. Obviously, this could get to 100 if I just uh, leveled up my artifact here, but it sucks. I kind of don't want to do that. But okay, anyways, so yeah, it, it's really nice to have Kaza in a team. You can literally plaster him into any team because he's just that viable. You can put him anywhere and he would he would work. And a lot of people say, oh, I have a C whatever Kaza and he's not dealing a million damage. Obviously not. If you guys want a million damage, you're not going to summon for a support character. He's a support unit. He's not supposed to do that much damage. He's not supposed to deal... 5 million damage because he's that's not how he's built that's not how he's supposed to work he's supposed to assist you reach that much damage but obviously uh, people just want to see the biggest number they want to see oh he's gonna deal the most damage obviously yes that is sort of what you want you kind of just want the character that does a lot of damage but sometimes it's not about that sometimes it's just get a character that helps your team out and I can't say that enough because they've been releasing a lot of DPS characters. They've released Eula, Tartaglia, Klee, um, whoever may be. Ayaka's coming out. She's also DPS. But they haven't been releasing the Zhonglis. Because the Zhonglis is where it's at. That's where it's at. Oh, not to mention Hu Tao, Zhao, uh, Ganyu. Ganyu was supposed to be a support, I think. But everybody knows she's the best DPS character in the game. Um... Other than, I guess, Eula. And I don't know. It's just really weird to me how people think that Kaza is, you know, your main DPS. Alright. I'm not going to say anything about his constellations up to C6. Because C6 changes the character. And a lot of people have a bunch of mixed opinions on that. I myself, I, c I can't give you an opinion to be honest. Because I don't have C6. I don't even have C1. 
I mean, C1 is the complete castle. If you have C1, it's good. If I go over to the wishes here, I can show you guys um, that I have 30 wishes left. I have 1,400 Prima Gems, but I'm not going to spend them because I don't need the characters. Uh, I, not to mention, I also got Bennett, if you guys wanted to know. I also have Bennett here. Oh, he's C2. Oh, so good. But yeah, Kaza is great, ladies and gents. And I'm just going to show you guys a few things team compositions that you might want to run so let's just go ahead and make a team real quick um if we could just go over to the party setup here I forgot what the bind was for that okay so this is my team now we're gonna change this team completely remove all the characters from it we want cause on the team so what we could do we can have cause on the team we can run with official have maybe uh we can run with Shing Cho, and then with Shing Cho, we can have G. Boom. Done. That's the team right there. This will work really well. Um, especially because you can drop Fischl, and after you drop Fischl, you do your E, and it's over. I mean, you could run this team. There you go. You could literally plaster him into any team possible. If you want to put him on the... What's it called? On the national team, you could... I could just add jangling here. There you are. Boom. He fits. He actually just fits. Just fits in there. It, it's it's such a good team composition and I can't recommend it enough. Um, so if we just move on here, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you guys a little something something. Okay. So um, what, what am I supposed to say? Do you roll on his weapon banner? No. Don't ever do this on any weapon banner ever there is no reason for you to pull on it i'm just gonna say that out loud unless you have your entire you know teams both teams team one and team two fully built fully artifact out uh, talents leveled up to as high as possible the weapon you you that you currently have is decent and you're like, oh, I finished my teams. I can clear 36 star Spiral Abyss. I'll give you the green light. You can do whatever you want. Other than that, if you have, if you are free to play, don't even try to spend on this. It's the most useless, you know, use for your Prima gems. I know I say that, and you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, the sword here is for the main character in the limited character banner. This is the th <laughs> the one you don't want. This is such a bait banner because you're not guaranteed either of them. You're not guaranteed either, either of them. The only thing you're guaranteed is a 5 star. And that's it. You could even get an off banner 5 star from this. And that's, that's a little bit, you know, out of the question there. Like, you do not want to get that. Guys, Kazuha is great, man. You can run him with any weapon. You can you can run him with any weapon. I've heard the Sacrificial Sword is good on him. And I kind of want to try it out. Because you could just spam his E, right? And I feel like that would be pretty good. But yeah, I mean, Kazuha is great, ladies and gents. Try, try to keep an open mind about just the damage dealt by Kazuha himself. Because Kazuha is not meant to deal that much damage. Look at that. He cleared all of them already without, you know, having, quote-unquote, big damage. He's really good. He's super fun. I can never recommend an animal character enough. Uh, I have a lot of animal characters. <laughs> I level all of them up. I just love the animal. So I have to be biased here. I am being biased. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. I mean, alright. But, okay. Let's talk about what Kaza is lacking. So what is Kaza lacking exactly? The only thing he is sort of lacking is he's lacking the constellation. I know this is a little bit weird for me to say, but his initial constellation, this is a normal thing for Eula. If you have Eula C0, your ultimate already resets your elemental skill. Or your elemental burst already resets your elemental skill. I feel like this should have been with Kazaha already, and I cannot say that enough. With this, you have Kazaha. Without this, I feel like you just have a Sucrose. That, that's just my opinion. And even with Sucrose, you could just slap on a Sacrificial Fragment and you're good to go. I guess you could say, I could slap on a Sacrificial Sword and I'm good to go. It's not the same thing. Because Sucrose can have two charges on her 
uh, elemental skill. You, on the other hand, cannot have two charges with your elemental skill unless you have C1. Of course, the same thing goes with Sucrose, but Sucrose is available. You can get Sucrose easy. If I just go over to Sucrose here, I already have Z1. So, I don't know. It's just a little bit confusing to me why they just happen. Just put that in alongside a character, a 5-star character, Kazaha, the Kazaha. And I'm, I just feel like that's a missed opportunity. And not to mention, he can double jump. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I didn't stall for too long. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, consider liking this video as well. Subscribing to the channel and see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.